Hello, my name is Alexis and I'm an instructor with Living Classroom. Spring has sprung, flowers are starting to bloom, birds are starting to sing, and birds are also starting to build their nest. Today we have an awesome project for you. It only takes a few materials and it's a great excuse to get out and take a nature walk around your neighborhood. We are going to build our own bird's nest. Let's get started. Why do birds build nests? Birds build nests for a couple of different reasons. One main reason is so that they have a place to lay their eggs and raise their offspring. Offspring is a word that scientists use for baby animals. Birds also build their nests so that they can stay safe from predators. You'll notice that they most often build their nest high up in the trees because the predators can't climb or fly up to the nest like birds can. One special type of nest is the nest built by a weaver bird. Weaver birds build pendulum nests. We call them pendulum nests because they hang down from the branches of the tree instead of sitting on top of it. These nests are super strong. They're so strong because weaver birds use their beaks and their feet to tie blades of grass together with knots. Not only are these weaver birds nests super strong, but they're also pretty cool to look at. Let's talk about some of the materials that you might want to collect while you are on your nature walk today. You are going to want to find things like small twigs, leaves, moss, and grass. These are the same types of materials that birds use when they build their own nest in the spring. Some other materials that you will need to build your nest are some mud to stick everything together, a bowl or a plate to build your nest on, and maybe some cotton balls, cotton swabs, or other craft materials that you might have at home. Let's get started. I'm going to start building my nest by putting some mud down on the plate and using my hands to shape it into whatever shape I want my nest to be in. Then I'm going to add some twigs and sticks and leaves, maybe even some bark around the outside of my nest to keep it nice and strong. In the middle is where I'm going to put my cotton balls and cotton swabs. These are kind of like the feathers that birds use to line the inside of their nest to keep their offspring nice and warm. Now that you've finished building your nest, let's reflect on what we learned today. What materials did you find on your nature walk? What challenges did you face when building your nest? Why do birds build nests? Why do different birds build different kinds of nests? This activity comes from our first grade lesson, The Best Nest. However, we feel like humans of all ages would enjoy creating their own bird's nest.